Hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well and having a well-deserved summer break. Welcome to our 2021 annual day celebrations. I'm sure we were all hoping that we'd be in person this year, but virtual is still better than nothing. Wouldn't you agree? As you all know, we've had some incredible annual days in the past, with many colourful and exciting events presented by children in our community. However, we have all struggled recently with the pandemic, but despite that, we have managed to bring together some events for you guys to enjoy and celebrate a great end to the shaky year. We've got everything going on this year, from songs to skits to speeches. So sit back, relax and enjoy the festivities. Let's light the flame of this event with the spark that is the Holy Spirit. First up, we have a prayer song ready for you, sung by Murray and Mickey. <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful performance, so sweet. Next up, we have two of our Year 12 students with another beautiful prayer sung by Charlotte Clements and Anya Tarakan.
Now, that was spectacular. Huge well done to them both. Now we've got a head teacher, Sini John, with the welcoming speech. A warmest welcome to our second virtual annual day celebration. Let's hope that this would be the last as we hope and pray for this pandemic to end. I know you all had been waiting for a few weeks for this event to happen, but bringing together the annual day a second time was harder than we thought it would be and hence the delay. Sincere apologies for that. But proudly we bring to you the dedication, the enthusiasm and the talents of our dear children. As the novelty and enthusiasm of the virtual events wore off over the seemingly endless quarantine lockdown days, our team had to work even harder to put together the event. And today's event is the testimony that anything is possible with dedication, commitment and enthusiasm. Dear children, a most heartfelt thank you to all of you who made this event possible. Some of you couldn't join in because of different reasons. We understand that, but we hope you, you are inspired by the performances of your friends and will join in when the opportunity comes next time. Children, this Sunday school is your big family. We come together because we belong together. We share the same faith, same traditions and values. There may be people who say that what is important is to follow the faith in whichever church it may be. Fundamentally speaking, yes, it is right, that is enough. One's aim in life should be to experience Jesus in their lives and to lead a life according to his teachings. But children, the Jesus that you see in the Gospels respected all the Jewish laws and diligently observed all the Jewish traditions. When the traditions were wrong, he did not walk away. He did not seek another synagogue. He dared to question the authorities and interpreted the laws in the right way and corrected them. This is the example of Jesus that we are called to follow. To know something and to practice something, first we should learn about it. Many make the mistake of being an authority on things where they have just seen the tip of the iceberg. Let us not make that mistake. And the best people to learn from are the people who practice it and who live it in their lives. Our Sunday school gives you the wonderful opportunity to learn about the faith from the people who have practiced it all their lives. It is our faith. Each community, each country, they all have their own unique ways of doing things and traditions. And it is the responsibility of the native people to keep it alive and to hand it over to generations. It is our calling, it is our responsibility to keep the flame of faith alive in ourselves, in our families and in our communities. You may sometimes find the catechesis lessons boring or repetitive. How can the teachings are sold as 2000 years compete with the continuous onflow of TikTok videos and other YouTube clips? It is difficult to comprehend but the great understanding that we should have is this 2000 year old faith, this 2000 year old traditions have sustained the challenges of these 2000 years and are still relevant to humans today. And it is our calling to preserve it and to hand it over to the next generation along the path. If you find that there are mistakes and corrections need to be made, then be courageous and step forward. What will happen will be refinement, not regression. Parents, let me share with you a snapshot of a conversation we had with one of our youth. Now, this young man is not overly religious, not zealously Sira Malaba, and has a great many doubts and questions on faith-related things. We were having a casual conversation about his future plans, marriage, family life, kids, and their upbringing. When asked whether he would be bringing his children to Sunday school um, in the future, his reply was firm, but we were totally taken aback by it. He said, yes, definitely I would be bringing them for Sunday school because I want them to learn about our faith and the Sira Malabar traditions. I would give them the opportunity to learn about it 
and then they can make the decision about whether they want to follow it or not but definitely i would bring it to them and i would give it to them parents let us not deny our children their birthright we put so much effort into their learning and we take them to you know all possible lessons we take them to dance swimming music instruments song arts martial arts craft activities any club that we can take we take them because we don't want them to miss out on any activity we are convinced that you know all of this will contribute towards their formation and will help them in their future life i know it because i do it but isn't their faith formation as important as their intellectual formation isn't having a conscience uh, based on christian teachings more important and the greatest asset that a child can have in their future life isn't coming together as one big family celebrating faith and observing these traditions with one mind just simply wonderful we can't go wrong as parents if we practice our faith correctly and then teach it to our children let us bring them to this big family of church so that they can grow together support each other stay safe with each other in their learnings and then be a wonderfully formed new community with this thought let me welcome each and every one of you parents children teachers every member of our family and if whoever is watching this program to the simple yet beautiful celebration of our faith our traditions and our church family sit back and enjoy your young talents thank you and god bless let us now listen to our beloved father paul as he inaugurates our annual day ceremonies ഈശോയിൽ ഏറ്റവും സ്നേഹമുള്ള കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെ പ്രിയ മാതാപിതാക്കളെ അധ്യാപകരെ പി ടി എ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് കാർട്ടിസത്തിൻ്റെ ഓൺലൈനിലുള്ള രണ്ടാമത്തെ വാർഷികമാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇന്ന് ആഘോഷിക്കുക ഈ അവസരത്തിൽ കഴിഞ്ഞ ഒരു വർഷക്കാലം മുഴുവനും കഠിനാധ്വാനം ചെയ്ത അധ്യാപകർക്കും ക്ലാസ്സുകളിൽ പങ്കെടുത്ത കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾക്കും അവരെ ഒരുക്കിയ മാതാപിതാക്കൾക്കും വേണ്ട സാങ്കേതിക സാഹചര്യങ്ങൾ ഒരുക്കി കൊടുത്ത പി ടി എം മെമ്പേഴ്സിനും എല്ലാ ആശംസകളും പ്രാർത്ഥനകളും നന്ദിയോടെ അർപ്പിക്കുകയാണ് കഴിഞ്ഞ ഏതാനും നാളുകൾ മാസങ്ങൾ ഏകദേശം രണ്ട് വർഷത്തോളം കോവിഡിനെ പ്രതിരോധിക്കാനുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളിലായിരുന്നു നമ്മൾ എല്ലാവരും നമ്മൾ ഫേസ് മാസ്ക് ധരിച്ചിരുന്നു കൈകൾ കഴുകി നമ്മൾ ശുദ്ധിയാക്കിക്കൊണ്ടിരുന്നു സാനിറ്റൈസ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നു ഇങ്ങനെ നിരവധിയായിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്തു രണ്ട് മീറ്റർ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് പാലിച്ചിരുന്നു നമ്മളെ തന്നെ സംരക്ഷിക്കുവാൻ അതുപോലെ നമ്മുടെ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവരെ സംരക്ഷിക്കുവാൻ കോവിഡിൻ്റെ ആക്രമണത്തിൽ രക്ഷ രക്ഷപ്പെടുവാൻ വേണ്ടി പ്രതിരോധത്തിലായിരുന്നു നമ്മളെല്ലാവരും നമുക്കറിയാം ഈ ലോകം മുഴുവനും ഇന്നും ഈ കോവിഡിനെ പ്രതിരോധിക്കാനുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ ഏർപ്പെട്ടുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് നമുക്ക് ആർക്കും കാണാൻ സാധിക്കാത്ത ഒരു രോഗാണുവിന് ഇത്രമാത്രം രോഗത്തെ നിശ്ചലമാക്കാൻ സാധിച്ചെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തെ ഇത്രമാത്രം നെഗറ്റീവായിട്ട് ബാധിക്കാൻ സാധിച്ച് സാധിച്ചുവെങ്കിൽ തിന്മയുടെ ശക്തി പാപത്തിൻ്റെ ശക്തി എത്രമാത്രം നമ്മൾക്ക് നമ്മളിൽ സ്വാധീനം ചെലുത്തുന്നുണ്ടെന്നും അതിനെ പ്രതിരോധ പ്രതിരോധിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ എന്തുമാത്രം കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യേണ്ടിയിരിക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ളതിനെക്കുറിച്ചും നമ്മൾ ബോധവാന്മാരാകണം കണ്ടിസം ക്ലാസ്സുകളിലെല്ലാം ഓൺലൈൻ ക്ലാസ് ആയിക്കോട്ടെ ലൈവ് ക്ലാസ്സുകളൊക്കെ ആയിക്കോട്ടെ അവിടെയെല്ലാം തിന്മയുടെ ശക്തിയെ പാപത്തിൻ്റെ ശക്തിയെ നമ്മുടെ ആത്മാവിനെ ആത്മാവിൻ്റെ നശ ആത്മാവിനെ നശിപ്പിക്കാൻ തക്ക വിധത്തിൽ ഉള്ള പാപത്തിൻ്റെ ശക്തിയെ തിന്മയുടെ ശക്തിയെ പ്രതിരോധിക്കുവാൻ നമുക്ക് എങ്ങനെ സാധിക്കും എന്നാണ് കാറ്റസിംഗ് ക്ലാസ്സിലൂടെ നമ്മൾ പഠിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നത് പക്ഷെ ഇനിയും വരും നാളുകളിൽ നമ്മൾ അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് ബോധവാന്മാരാകണം കാറ്റസിംഗ് ക്ലാസ്സുകളിലൂടെ നമ്മൾ യേശുവിനെ കൂടുതൽ അടുത്തറിയുവാനും യേശു തിന്മയുടെ ശക്തിയെ പ്രതിരോധിക്കുവാനായിട്ട് എങ്ങനെയാണ് നമ്മളെ പഠിപ്പിച്ചതെന്നും തൻ്റെ മരണത്തിലൂടെ നമ്മൾക്ക് എങ്ങനെ തിന്മയുടെ ശക്തിയെ പ്രതിരോധിക്കുവാനായിട്ടുള്ള ശക്തി കഥാവ് പകർന്നു എന്നൊന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കാനുള്ള അവസരമാണ് അഡീഷൻ ക്ലാസ്സുകളിലൂടെ നാം പഠിച്ച കാര്യങ്ങൾ പ്രാവർത്തികമാക്കാനുള്ള അവസരം കൂടിയായിരുന്നു ഏതാനും നാളുകൾ ഇനി വരുന്ന അവസരങ്ങളിലും അഡീഷൻ ക്ലാസ്സുകളിലൂടെ അധ്യാപകരെ നമ്മൾ ശ്രമിക്കുമ്പോൾ അഡീഷൻ ക്ലാസ് നമ്മൾ പങ്കെടുക്കുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് കൂടുതൽ അവയർ ആകാം എങ്ങനെ തിന്മയുടെ ശക്തിയെ പ്രതിരോധിക്കാം എങ്ങനെ പാപത്തിൻ്റെ ശക്തിയെ നമുക്ക് പ്രതിരോധിക്കാൻ സാധിക്കുമെന്ന് അവയർ ആകാം പാപത്തിൻ്റെ ശക്തി അതിജീവിക്കുവാൻ നമുക്ക് കർത്താവ് തന്നിരിക്കുന്ന ഏറ്റവും വലിയ ദാനമാണ് വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാന വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാനയിൽ സജീവമായിട്ട് പങ്കെടുത്തുകൊണ്ടും 
കുമ്പസാര ചുവണ്ടും പാപത്തിൻ്റെ ശക്തിയെ പ്രതിരോധിക്കാൻ നമുക്ക് സാധിക്കും സ്നേഹമുള്ള കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട മാതാപിതാക്കളെ കാൻഡസം ക്ലാസ്സുകളിൽ പങ്കെടുത്ത് നമ്മുടെ സ്വാർത്ഥതയെ അതിജീവിക്കുവാൻ തിന്മയുടെ ശക്തിയെ അതിജീവിക്കുവാൻ നൽകുന്ന പാഠങ്ങൾ കൂടുതൽ തീക്ഷതയോടെ നമുക്ക് അതിൽ പങ്കുചേരാം അതുപോലെ വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാനയിലും കുമ്പസാരത്തിലും സജീവമായി പങ്കെടുത്തുകൊണ്ട് കുമ്പസാരിച്ചുകൊണ്ടും വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാന സ്വീകരിച്ചുകൊണ്ടും പാപത്തിൻ്റെ ശക്തി പ്രതിരോധിക്കുവാൻ നമുക്ക് സാധിക്കട്ടെ വരുന്ന അക്കാഡമിക് ഇയറിൽ സെപ്റ്റംബർ മാസത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ ഓൺലൈനായിട്ട് ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ ആരംഭിക്കും അതിനുശേഷം ലൈവായിട്ടാണ് കാൻഡസ് ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ നടത്താൻ നമ്മൾ ആലോചിക്കുന്നത് നിങ്ങളെല്ലാവരെയും ഒന്നിച്ച് കാണാനും ഒന്നിച്ച് ചേർന്ന് വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാന അർപ്പിക്കുവാനും അതുപോലെ കാൻഡസ് ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ നടത്തപ്പെടുവാനും ഉള്ള അവസരം ലഭിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി പ്രത്യേകം പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം ഈ അവസരത്തിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടി അഭിനന്ദനങ്ങളും പ്രാർത്ഥനകളും ഹൃദയപൂർവ്വം നേർന്നുകൊണ്ട് അതുപോലെ നമ്മുടെ കാറ്റസൺ ഡയറക്ടറായിട്ടുള്ള രൂപതയുടെ കാറ്റസൺ ഡയറക്ടറെ ഭാവിച്ചതിന് വേണ്ടി പ്രത്യേകം ഓർത്തുകൊണ്ടും പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ടും രൂപത അധ്യക്ഷനായ ജോസഫ് ഖാൻ വേണ്ടി പ്രത്യേകം പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ടും ഈ കാറ്റസത്തിൻ്റെ വാർഷികം നമുക്ക് സമുചിതമായിട്ട് ആഘോഷിക്കാം എല്ലാ ദൈവാനുഗ്രഹങ്ങളും ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടി നേരുകയും ആശംസിക്കുകയും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു പ്രിയ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളെ മാതാപിതാക്കളെ അധ്യാപകരെ പി ടി എ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് സ്നേഹമുള്ളവരെ നിങ്ങളെല്ലാവരുടെയും സാന്നിധ്യം ആത്മീയ സാന്നിധ്യം ഇവിടെ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് പൂർണ്ണമായിട്ട് വിചാരിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങളുടെ മനസ്സിൽ ധ്യാനിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് കട്ടേസത്തിൻ്റെ വാർഷികം ഔദ്യോഗികമായിട്ട് ഉദ്ഘാടനം ചെയ്യാം Thank you Paul Acha for your inspiring words and your loving support and kindness. It's time for a special guest, our very own Bishop Sarampakul with a speech. Dear Reverend Father Paul, a teacher, teachers, parents and my dear children, I am very happy to join you virtually. And I congratulate and thank the organizers for conducting this virtual program with uh, catechism teachers and uh, students dear children you are the leaders of this eparchy i mean the faithful in bristol you set a trend for our communities and we are very happy about your leadership in the FRP i once again congratulate father paul and all the lay leaders of the bristol community dear children pope emeritus benedict xvi said once the most beautiful thing in the world is to know jesus and to speak to others of our friendship with him he also said the most important thing is never to distance oneself from jesus we know that jesus is our lord and our god through him we enter into communion with the god the father and also with the, all the brethren with the whole catholic church so we have to thank our lord jesus christ and um, we the siromalabar people are fortunate that uh, our forefathers heard the gospel through the preaching of st thomas one of the 12 apostles so we are called st thomas christians and we know that st thomas professed that jesus is marwala jesus is my lord and my god so we have to thank our lord jesus christ for sending st thomas to india on in, in 52 ad and um, we also uh, have a very rich liturgical tradition the east syrian tradition we know that syriac aramaic uh, was the language spoken by jesus mary joseph and apostles 
So we have to value the Syriac language and our very rich and profound liturgical tradition. And uh, our liturgy, our spirituality, our theology and our discipline differentiate our church. Our church is unique because of our liturgy, spirituality, theology and discipline. And I want you children, you learn all these things and be teachers of these realities to others. When you encounter with the uh, people of other traditions, Latin traditions or Malaga tradition, Byzantine tradition, you speak about uh, your faith in Jesus Christ, your tradition and um, your heritage. So uh, I appreciate uh, your interest uh, in, in the faith and also your interest in our own tradition and heritage. And as I said earlier, uh, you people in Bristol, uh, you are models for other communities and people of uh, our other communities. So dear children, I address you uh, to the Immaculate Heart of Virgin Mary. And also uh, this year we celebrate uh, the year of St. Joseph. So I address you to the particular care and protection of St. Joseph. And also we ask the intercession of St. Thomas, St. Alphonsa and other saints. So dear children, I request your valuable prayers for me and the Catholic Sarola Barge Gay Britain. And uh, we are engaged in a particular uh, endeavor. And uh, I request uh, you are valuable prayers, dear children. Please give my greetings to your parents. So, dear children, may God bless you. Thank you, Padave, for that profound speech. We are honoured to welcome our dear Bob Wurton, the Chairman of the Commission for Catechesis in our Araparki. Dear Alamin Bolatson, dear parishioners of Bristol, my dear teachers and students, greetings from Eparkil Commission for Catechesis. I'm so happy to participate in your Catechism Annual Day celebration. Of course, your Sunday school is a model for all our Eparki in all respect. You have a great history of catechesis, even many, many years before our Eparchy was erected. Go ahead by spreading the light of faith to generations. Last year, in the scenario of pandemic, we were unable to have catechism in person, but we still continue online as the Lord gave us new opportunities. My dear teachers and students, Catechism is not mere learning something, but experiencing the living God. May all our hopes and dreams be fulfilled in this new year. But above all, may our hearts wish to know our loving God. And let the new year of Catechism be a way of developing our spiritual life. I wish you all the best for the days to come and never forget that God must always be first in our life, wherever we are. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to join with you virtually. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob Lecher, for those encouraging and inspiring words. Now we have the annual day report for our Sunday school for 2020 to 2021.
Let us welcome our dear Father Francois, Director of Catechism for our region. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, we are now entering into the new season of Elijah, Moses and Kolos. In this season, we remember the second coming of Christ. Jesus, who is not a person who just lived 2000 years ago, but rather a person who is living with me and will come again. And during Catechism, we just came to know about this person, Jesus, who is living with me. And as we celebrate these annual day celebrations, it is a moment to reflect how was me during this last year, whether I could came to know a little bit more about Jesus, whether I could see his presence in my life. And if you are saying yes, I would rather say this will be the moment of joy, joy of finding Christ in my life. And if you are saying no, no, Acha, I couldn't make it out due to the COVID things and so on. I would rather say here comes another year before you. Try hard to know about him, to see Christ in your life experiences. And dear catechism teachers, as regional catechism director, I would like to thank you because you have made a great effort amidst the COVID sufferings and so on. You have made yourself finding time for our children, for teaching them the person Jesus. And I would surely say that even though you couldn't see the fruits now, you will be able to see them in the coming years. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Fanswacha, for those motivating words. Next up, we have a fabulous action song from our energetic reception students. Sit back and enjoy.
That was so well executed. Good job. Year four is presenting to us The Virtues of St. Joseph, a most suitable programme since it is the year of St. Joseph. St. Madeline Sophia says, Let us love Jesus above all. Let us love Mary as our mother. But then, how could we keep from loving Joseph, who is so intimately united with both Jesus and Mary? And how can we honour him better than by imitating his virtues? On the feast day of Immaculate Conception, Pope Francis in Atlanta this year is dedicated to St. Joseph. St. Joseph is a great model for the entire Catholic Church. He is considerate, hard-working and willing to step aside for the glory of God. One of my favourite images of St. Joseph is the sleeping Joseph. This image recalls the story of Angel Gabriel appearing to St. Joseph in a dream and announcing that he will be Mary's husband and foster father. Year 4 presents our dedication to St. Joseph with a father's heart. Most valiant protector of church. Saint Joseph had the entire church under his protection since the Holy Family was the church. Our Lady is the mother and image of the church, the Holy Spirit, the soul of the church and Christ the church's head. To Joseph this treasure was entrusted and by his wit, his obedience and his sacrifice he valiantly defended them. Joseph most chaste. Chaste love requires that one wills the good to another without taking the other to oneself as one's own. To Joseph was entrusted the divine child and his fairest mother. Chaste in body but also in heart, jo Joseph loved freely which created the interior tranquility of, of order in the Holy Family. Joseph most just. Joseph was first and foremost just unto God, rendering to him what was his due. Since all things are, are due to God, Joseph was perfectly religious in prayer, in labor, and in love giving to God. Even as an infant, the energy of his whole life. Lover of poverty. Uh, Joseph could count on nothing in this world to be his stay. Neither his trade or, nor poverty were employed in his first years as father of the divine child. He had to abandon all that was his and provide for them in whatever way was possible as they were on pilgrimage to Bethlehem, to Egypt and finally to Nazareth. Modular workers, you must not simply intend love we must labour to fulfil love's demands. Labouring for the good of another, in Jesus' case, was direct labour for God. Working in Adam's curse by the sweat of his brow, was replaced with purpose as it was all done to feed, to clothe, to shelter God himself. Joseph, most obedient and head of the Holy Family. Joseph, perfectly obedient to God as he led the Holy Family. He listened to God's voice and did exactly what God asked of him. Pray this month that you can be faithful to God, what, what God asked of you, even if it's not what you would have chosen for your life. Joseph, most faithful. St. Joseph provided a stable, a safe home where Jesus could grow up in a loving family. He did this by remaining faithful to all that God asked of him. That is definitely not always easy. This month, ask St. Joseph to help you in the areas where you struggle to live your vocation. Joseph, mirror of patience. Patience is willingness to suffer is definitely not an easy virtue to attain. St. Joseph was patient because of the great love he had for Christ and the blessed of the mother. This month, ask St. Joseph to help you to be patient with a person or, or situation that often frustrates you.
Thank you, Year 4. That was wonderfully done. Let us welcome Jerome from our reception class for a song.